As a professional hockey coach, my players expected me to be a teacher, a leader, and a source of advice. My clients expect the same qualities to help them achieve financial success. Let me help you. Well, he's obviously a dynamic, fun player to watch. I mean, uh, skating is uh, at a whole different level than you see with uh, a lot of uh, players in the league, uh, creative offensively. You know, I, I think people focus obviously on his offense, but he is a kid that positioning uh, in his own zone, he's, he's very good. Uh, you know, he's on the penalty kill once in a while as well. He shows that he's got that hockey sense and, you know, he does play, you know, obviously a more gifted offensive style, but he is capable of uh, playing both ends of the ice. As far as his stock goes, is it, is it on the rise? Well, I think he's had a phenomenal year, obviously, pointing, putting up points, uh, both with Duran and Duran out of the lineup. Wow, I mean, I, I just seen him uh, last week and, and now you see the stats and you see the numbers that he's putting up and last night he gets a hat trick and you know for me it's all about speed he, he's so dynamic off the rush and but that's not the only thing he does he thinks the game very well and slows the play down and for a goalie I mean I've seen him you know really rip shots and makes it tough for goalies to to get those high ones off the bar and uh, he's uh, he's really an exciting player and I think that once he gets the puck people are aware of him very very quickly As regarding his stock for the upcoming draft? Well, I, I really didn't know much about him. You know, coming from Denmark, he, he didn't play in this league, you know, last year. So it really is, uh, you know, from what I saw, it's tough to get a read on a guy that that's, you know, he's going to get 50 goals. And I, I think his stock has gone to where, I'm not getting about any secrets, I think he's a top 10 pick, in my mind. I mean, you look at his skating and his hockey sense and his competitiveness and his, his willingness to do a lot of things, see the ice well and make plays. I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, a guy that I'd love to have in our organization, but we hope that we're not that bad. <laughs> You know, you don't want to compare them, you know, like Joe is Joe, you know, but I mean, uh, you don't want to compare, but he's pretty close, honestly. Uh, uh, and does he have a top quality? I think the pace that plays the game, his hockey sense, the way he sees the game. Uh, like I said, you know, like comparing players, but he sees plays happen before they happen. Like he knows when he gets, a, before he gets a puck, he knows where it's going, where he's going to play with it. And that's a huge gift. I mean, that's his best quality, I think. And, and finally, his stock? Is his, is his stock rising? All the time. I mean, he was, we, we saw him, we got a glimpse of him last year. I got a glimpse of him last year by fluke when I was over there in Sweden. I was just doing some, some club games, and all of a sudden, I didn't know this guy from Adam, honestly, because, and, uh, and then the next thing I see that you, uh, the Moose had drafted him, I was thrilled. I was looking for him to come over here. I knew what, you know, what he was gonna bring, but I mean, from, from Christmas time on, I mean, he is, the sky's the limit, I mean. Has his stock risen during the course oh, of the season? Oh, dramatically. Yeah, uh, he's a guy with quick feet, quick hands, quick mind. Every NHL team's looking for a player like that. And finally, you know, what, what type of player might he be at, at the next level? Uh, I think he's going to be a guy that's going to be a difference maker. He's going to be a guy that can score. He can play in the top six, be a power play guy. Um, he's got a quick shot. He's smart. He gets to areas quickly and can make plays at high speed. He, he's going to be a top six player in the NHL.